Hey guys, welcome. Today, we are going to slam into the wall. Oh, come on. Today, we're going to fight wither skeletons, blazes, maybe even piglin zombies. Though I'm hoping to avoid that. But we are going to... <laughs> we're going to go to the nether fortress and fight okay so I'm apparently pissed off in Enderman as well oh. let's see if he wants to come talk to me why oh, hello I didn't know they could pick those up are those even considered blocks See, this is gonna, this is gonna hurt. Now, if I'm smart, I just, I just use the lead. If I'm smart, but uh, we can't be smart all the time. All right, guys. So, what we're doing here is we're going to get some nether brick. That is the, oh, why, how useful is that? So our donkey's in place. I also have, I really should use this, you know, clear this out and use it more as a storage device as well. So we've got plenty of places we could store our nether bricks. So I've already managed to collect two useless items. Hey, these can go, no, make that three. There we go. So we got plenty of inventory space. We need nether bricks for the build. I can't wait to get back and show you the work that I've done while you were gone. You know, we had the last video we were setting the foundation. Now, we've actually built out that foundation and added some decorations. I personally think it looks really good. But now, we've got to fight in this dangerous fortress. We've got these guys. We've got archers, we've got blazes. I didn't bring. Uh oh, we got a golden one. Side to side dodge it. Oh no. Got blazes. Gotta separate these guys. Gotta use the cover. Oh goodness. I'm on fire. I'm being assaulted. This place is insanely dangerous, guys. If you don't know, for those not, you know, super Minecraft experts like I am. Uh, this is in a good board. This is in a twisted forest, as you can see. We're surrounded by twisted forest. And really the only thing that spawns in twisted forest is endermen. And endermen are fairly rare. I really should have brought fire resistant potions. I'm already regretting that. Not bringing it. But anyway. Endermen are fairly rare to spawn, which means they're not going to spawn around this area all that much. So, in this game, there's a thing called a mob cap. I think it's 75 or 70. It's around there. Pacific, you know, the, the exact numbers aren't Pacific. But what this means is that all, instead of like there being mobs spawning everywhere around this area, there really isn't. There's like just going to be a few Endermen, and that's it. So that means that every available mob to spawn is going to be spawning inside this fortress. That means a ton of blazes, a ton of wither skeletons, and, uh, well, like a little bit of piglin zombies. We've seen some piglin zombies, but what, what's it going to mean is like every return, we are going to be assaulted by these things and I'm gonna take a quick detour I'm gonna go back and actually grab some fire resistance potions because this is literally ridiculous I should have brought them I just I'm I I'm gonna be taking damage everywhere I go if I don't grab these potions so quick cut and uh, I'll be back 
All right, quick cut is over. And look, I've got fire resistance potions. These things are critical. I mean, when you first have to get a blaze rod and get, you know, the, to get your brewing stand going, you don't have the luxury of this, but afterwards, you get some magma creams and these things are, I think, essential for exploring another fortress. I mean, it's like, oof. As you can see, like this open area, like this is actually a really nice location for, I really, I really should just pull up my bow instead of trying to hit these things. I got a random crappy durability bow, but <laughs> wow, what a dodge. Oh gosh, I gotta be careful I don't hit that. Last thing I wanna do is pig is get a, a piglin zombie mad at me. <laughs> but I lost my train of thought here. I mean, you, you have to... This thing is so open that you will just be assaulted by fireballs the entire time. And being able to take that off the table is critical because these guys do a lot of damage. It's, uh... I think it's because I'm wearing leather armor. Most damage, like, like really is kind of negatable because of the protection I have, but... The damage these guys do is actually pretty significant. I will not lie. It's quite significant. They do, uh, with their swords, they do a lot of damage. I wonder if I can actually just, like, take this stuff real quick. Problem is, they actually do do, uh... They do have a melee attack, so... It's not like it. I can completely ignore him, and I don't want to get meleeed off this nether fortress. Even though, you know, lava won't kill me. They do have a melee, see? They're meleeing me. And now, you know, I just can't stand leaving these things unbroken. You gotta get it. Ouch. Now they do some damage. Look at them shoot at me. They think they can kill me. I'm fighting a losing battle here. They'll just more will just spawn. Holy smokes, look how far out this thing goes. Haha, <laughs> see you later. I actually have this. I have decided that I'm just going to just demolish a pillar. <laughs> One of these pillars is going down. I don't I don't want to waste uh I'm wasting too much time. I'm trying to like find the exact like right locations to uh to do something. Rover here, I mean there's so much uh so much open land that this would never be good for uh, any sort of wither skeleton spawner. So we're just going to... It's away from the lava lake. So we're just going to hack it down. And fill up our inventory on this. One thing to point out that kind of reiterates the point I made earlier since we've kind of left the twisted forest and it's this is like a crimson forest right here notice a lot of enemies have stopped spawning in the nether fortress because we've got piglin zombies we've got regular uh, piglins so it significantly changes the spawn rates and makes it this fortress much less dangerous the chances of a wither skeleton uh, spawning is very insignificant now, so I don't have to worry about blazes constantly. I don't have to worry about uh, wither skeletons, like, especially when they get really dangerous and when they do pack spawning. So you could have, like, I died, uh, 
my last video that I recorded that I had to scrap due to audio issues, I was gathering nether bricks and I ended up dying because like a pack of three spawned nearby and they all decided like, hey, we're gonna jump down on this guy and kill him. So I was, I was attacked from like different sides. And you know, if you're, when you're busy just like the, like we're focusing right here, you know, just hacking away at the nether brick, collecting stuff, you don't have much time to concentrate on your surroundings constantly. So, this is a... Uh, mining in this thing is actually quite dangerous in the Twisted Forest uh, Fortress. But I'll have to look. There is like a wither... I believe there was a simple wither skeleton farm that could be made in a Twisted Forest. I think. That or it was a Soul Sand Valley, I can't remember. But the Twisted Forest seems to work really well for uh, for spawns, regardless of uh, regardless of mob proofing. Like the, it's like if you when you have the magma lake and the Twisted Forest together, the spawn rates are actually pretty darn good. So that could be a potential build. Busy, uh, busy with some other builds at the moment. We'll see. Green light, green light will probably beat me to it since he's just become the absolute beast of farming, of making farms. I feel bad if uh, one point, like if we do a reset for the uh, deep dark coming in, which I think we probably will, since it's adding mangrove forests in it as well. Not to mention that some of the deep dark stuff looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if you've seen it. You have a Lays, which they only spawn in woodland mansions and uh, pillager outposts at the moment. That might change. We'll see. It's kind of a hard balance to hit because on like a server like this, which is you know a very fun way to play it. There's a lot of. Uh, There's a lot of people, so having them, you know, these non-renewable uh, mobs tied simply to structures that aren't very, uh, aren't very common. Like wooden mansions are not common at all. Uh, pillager outposts are like all right, but they're again not super common. So I'm, I'm kind of torn in a way. Like it's nice for things to be rare because in a lot of ways it seems like a lot of stuff isn't rare nowadays when it comes to Minecraft. I read like everything's renewable, like, oh, you find diamonds, like, it's like, eh, whatever. Just diamonds, you know, it's not a big deal. But, uh, but having, like, an LA, like, even, like, the shulker boxes, like, it's, it, depending, like, luckily that this, on this, uh, SMP, it's not, you know, a huge deal, since there's not a ton of people on it right now, but, yeah, that could change in uh that could change at some point i mean i hope it does i hope this gets uh, even more popular more people join i think that largely only makes the thing better when you have you know multiple people on it but even that you know shulkers some people will oof, that that throw did not work out how i wanted it to hmm maybe we gotta go up here But even back, you know, in those in some of the bigger servers, they have to change the uh, loot tables. Like some, probably come up with different solutions for the for the problem of the LA or uh, sorry, the shulker box uh, issue because you know, they just have to add they you like change the loot table so it like spawns 100 percent of the time. You know, every kill you get a shulker box instead of it being 50 percent base and you know they do that to increase the number of shulker boxes on the server of course now there is a renewable shulker box way to farm shulker boxes so i guess in a way that's 
also uh, alleviated the issue of shulker boxes. It, the farm does look a little bit complicated to build, though. So it's a good it's a good mix of uh, of reward. You know, the farming takes some time, but it's ultimately going to like generate way more than the uh, than hunting wood. It's probably one of those places where you you hit that sweet spot between adventuring and farming from a game design perspective. Oh, my thing ran out. So I better I better put this back on. So I don't We are doing good on the bricks. All right. Boop. And we can run. This is the this is pack spawning right here. It's actually four of them. Look at this. This is insane. I mean, great for wither skeleton farming. It's bad for living. Oh, another wither skull. That's sweet. That'll make three. What do I want to get rid of here? This crappy bow. Ouch, what hit me? Oh, shit. What I tell you, what I tell you, it's dangerous. Look, there's four or more there's four more of these guys. It's nuts. It's absolutely insane. They're spawning. Randomly spawning and dropping from the ceiling. How is he dodging this? Let's see. Where is the exit here? I think it's right this way. Good old Enderpearl. It's time to go back. I think we've got enough. For the time being, we can have more fun later. We are back, guys. I want to show you what I've done. Ta da! All right, so I took the uh, foundations that I set, you know, made the frames. And then we gathered the nether brick, filled the frames in, added a pattern on the inside, and as you can see here. Then from there, I added, you know, some vines, added some bushes. I found the frames were a little plain, a little, you know, too much of a normal block pattern. So to, to break it up, I, you know, in some spots, I added a little like uh, stairs. Added some slabs to the top, kind of make it look broken. Some cracked nether brick, which you can make by sticking nether brick into a furnace and cooking it. And then, you know, I, I went with the dirt and uh, brown concrete powder on the bottom, kind of make it look a little more dirty, like it's covered with sand. Because uh, on the top here, I'm going to kind of match that. Kind of looks like it's covered with sand. A little bit like it's buried, overgrown type of temple. Look, that's uh, what I'm going for here. And then over here, it's kind of the same thing. Same pattern all the way around. I, it's kind of funny that it, it kind of converts from biomes, so you can see the color change here. It gets much greener on this side. But we have the same type of patterns. 
use again, use the brick to kind of like break it up stairs and slams. Create a few more breaks in the action. I think it turned out really well. Like the like the patterns and the layers on it. It's got more depth uh, this way. Kind of dug in. I'm gonna do I'm gonna have to do a little more work as far as the terrain, especially on this part. I'm gonna have to build or build this up a little more. To make like especially around that corner, I want more sand so it looks a little more significant. Like it's almost completely eroded out. Build that up a little more to make that look good. Probably gonna have to remove our little parkour course here, which is you know still a lot of fun. And I just missed it. No, I'm rusty. If we can take a look over here, I like the way this side looks. I added some glow berries, glow berry vines. A little bit different. It's interesting how they don't get affected by the, uh, like the vines and the bushes get affected by the biome. Those don't really, so you get a different shade of green here. Then I'm gonna have to work on the second layer, which is probably gonna be just sort of built up from this, maybe a little bit tighter contracted in, but I'm hoping to kind of follow the shape of the mountain as well. We kind of have like two, the way they are, this mountain was shaped, kind of following that shape a little bit. And just building up, you know, the second part. Leaving, I want to leave the, this dirt layer in that plateau right there on top. And just sort of build the fortress or temple, whatever you want to call this place, you know, up from there. I think it'll be quite nice. One of the things I really like about building with like this is you kind of, you have an idea, but you never quite know how it's going to turn out. And you like, like with this, you know, I set you know, these pillars up, kind of the shape, but I didn't exactly know, you know, what it's going to look like at the end. And you never quite do. You just sort of add layers and layers. And it's like, oh, I like that. Then like add a little more, like, eh, I don't really like that as much. So it just kind of becomes its own thing. So you're as you're building it, even though you're one creating it, you're being surprised by it as well. So you don't even know what's you know, kind of going on. And that's always, you know, a fun and enjoyable experience that Minecraft allows you. So guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know how the audio is because I've, I was working with the audio. I've had some issues with the audio in the past. So I want to know what you guys think. Is it good? Is it bad? You know, is it better than my last video? Uh, so leave that in the comments. And I hope you enjoy it. See you later, guys. Goodbye.